Today on Discover Wisconsin, we take you out to the farm, into the lake, and we sweep you off your feet right here in Columbia County. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Columbia County, it's Madison's beautiful backyard country, complete with friendly towns full of history and tradition and fun, interactive things that get you outside. Today, we're taking you to four communities in Columbia County, Poinette, Cambria, Columbus, and the county seat, Portage. We know there is no shortage of amazing places to visit in Wisconsin. But when you've got kids along for the ride, it can be tricky to find a spot that has something for everyone in the family. Portage is one of those spots, starting with their beautiful parks. Portage has 22 parks, and 15 of them are actually developed that have playgrounds or some sort of recreational attraction with them. They're second to none, really. We have beautiful water attractions as well as great land attractions. We have the Ice Age Trail that snakes through the city of Portage, and uh, they're great places to visit. We highly encourage you to. My kids and I visited Paquette Park in Portage for their kids' fishery event, held during Wisconsin's free fishing weekend every summer. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish, but overall it was just such a fun day. I just loved being outside and enjoying some warm sun and some family fun. I kept on getting tugs, but I wasn't able to uh, get the fish up. I did see a turtle's head, though. <laughs> We learned about the pole, like this. I would like to go fishing again because it's just super fun. Before we headed home, we stopped by Silver Lake Beach Park to do some swimming. We played in the sand a little bit, checked out the playground. It was like a little summer paradise for the kids. And then there's Goodyear Park. With a playground, picnic shelters, a splash pad, and a skate park, you could easily plan to spend half a day here. I like doing tricks and jumping over the pyramid. They can go on the skate park, you can have a picnic. You can really make a day of it and not have to spend a lot of money. I think it's really cool because it gathers a lot of people together and it just gives you, it gets you out of the house and makes you do something that's actually really fun. I really like when the water shoots out at me. Yeah. <laughs> but then it's really I like getting fresh. I love the splash pad. Yeah, me too. Along with accessible outdoor spaces, Portage also puts a high value on providing fun, enriching art programs to kids. The Children's Theater Workshop is a place where young people can come to really gain a grasp of what it is to explore through a different lens. I want everyone to say one word, one word of a feeling, of a thought, something that comes into your mind. You have fun, you make new friends, and it really feels good to tell everybody that they did a great job on what they were doing. The reality is that a lot of places are losing their drama programming. So if we want art that represents the local communities of Wisconsin, we have to have places like the Portage Center for the Arts, and the Portage Center for the Arts does it better than any local arts organization that I've had the pleasure of working with. One thing you've got to know about Columbia County, and especially Portage, is that curling is a big part of the culture here, starting at a young age. We had a Curling is one of the oldest world team sports, but in case someone doesn't know what it is, what is curling? What, is it, what are the rules to it? This is a sport that started in Scotland back 1400s. This area of Wisconsin is one of the most condensed area. It's a sport played on ice similar to maybe shuffleboard, and some of the rules are very similar in terms of removing the stones from the ice. It is kind of like chess in some ways too, because you have to really think that not just what you're throwing for that stone, but what's gonna happen later on in the end. So I don't know if I can tell you exactly what curling is unless you actually experience it. You're trying to move your whole body in a straight line toward what you're shooting at. So that okay. might, that's usually gonna be the skip's room and they'll say, throw it here. 
There's so much strategy involved. There's the sweepers out there that can control which way the stone turns or how fast or how slow they want to make it go. Kids usually start at age seven. We have a very strong juniors program here. It's a good sport because it teaches uh, teamwork, but it also teaches some independent skills. Some of our curlers have gone on to the Olympics, and so there's a pretty big sense of pride when we know that um, our club has produced some elite athletes. Start planning your family's adventures by checking out our family-friendly playlist on all streaming devices. And don't go away. Up next, we're exploring the great outdoors in Poinette. Welcome back to Columbia County, here on Discover Wisconsin. I came to Poinette 20 years ago because there was a little tiny body shop for sale and my wife and I chose to buy the shop and stay here and we've made our lives here. It's right next to Madison's, right next to the interstates, right next to Wisconsin Dells. It's a perfect location if you want to experience southern Wisconsin. A small town south of Portage, Poinette boasts beautiful rural and wooded landscapes. But it's not just for show. Look a little closer and you'll find a number of ways to enjoy nature, wildlife, and agritourism. The Mackenzie Environmental Center is an environmental center open to the public in South Central Wisconsin. Um, owned and operated by the Department of Natural Resources. It has great opportunities for the public, families, teachers, students, really anybody to come out and enjoy the outdoors. The programs offered at the McKenzie Center are all outdoor focused. Um, everything from outdoor skills to learning about different seasons. Maple Syrup Festival is held the first Saturday every April. Um, it gives people an opportunity to get outside, celebrate spring, and then learn a little bit about the magic of the maple tree and how maple sap gets turned into maple syrup and the history behind it. Lopastics Orchard is a family-owned and operated apple orchard just north of Madison. We grow over 60 varieties of apples. We are not a pick-your-own apple orchard, but you can come in our shop and you sample the apples throughout the season. So we like to be the place where you can find that unique variety that you can't find anywhere else. My husband, Jared, and I took over the everyday operation. My in-laws still help out a lot. We couldn't do this without them. But now my girls are also getting bigger and they are starting to work here too. So it's, it's all completely family owned and operated. Our play areas are pretty unique, I think. Um, we like to collect random things that are either free or very low cost that we can make into something awesome for kids to enjoy. I want people to leave here with like an awesome memory of a really good day spent with family and friends. I want them to leave here with apples they're really happy with so they eat them really fast and they want to come back. And less than a five minute drive from the orchard, a family farm that prides itself in raising the best farm fresh products and offering visitors good old fashioned hospitality. So this farm has been in the family for almost 150 years and there's actually three generations that are on the farm. Each season starts basically in June with strawberries. You are actually able to come out, take a hayride to the patch and then if you don't want to pick, we do have pre-picked strawberries also. And then from strawberries, you're basically going into Sunflower Festival that is always our first weekend in August. From then on, fall activities starting the middle of September. In addition to an 18-acre corn maze, the largest in the state, Creekbed Country Pharmacy has amazingly creative play areas gunny sack slides, hay rides, a pumpkin patch, and concessions where you can enjoy pharmacy burgers made with their own all-natural beef. Rockamore Winery is a family winery here in Poinette, Wisconsin. Our claim to fame is that we only use Wisconsin-grown grapes for our wines, and we are farm to table. When we pick something, we process it, make it wine right away. We're on 40 acres of vines and pines. We have Frisbee golf, we have cornhole things set up. But the big thing is, when you come here, just relax and enjoy the day, enjoy Wisconsin. 
finally got to have my I Love Lucy moment and take in a little grape stomping here at Rock and Wool Winery. They host their annual grape stomping event the second Saturday in September. It's definitely strange, but it's like a weird kind of satisfaction at the same time. It's like the weirdest sensation under your feet. Our wine represents Wisconsin. It represents who we are as a people, our culture, how we enjoy life, how we enjoy the outdoors, you know, just really kind of celebrating Wisconsin and people in Wisconsin. Start planning your trip to Columbia County right now at discoverwisconsin.com. And stay put, coming up, we're checking out The Dump, a bar in Cambria that's making a big difference. Discover Wisconsin is back, making our way through Columbia County. Nestled in the hills of northeastern Columbia County is the village of Cambria. And while the official population comes up short of a thousand, there's nothing small about this community's character. And no place sums it up more than the dump. The Westerman family purchased this tavern from another local family in 1974. And Bill Westerman was sitting with his buddies right over here at a table. And he said, I guess I just bought a bar. So I don't know what I'm gonna call it. It's such a dump. And one of his buddies said, I think you just named it, Bill. And it's been the dump since 1974. Today, the bar and grill located on Cambria's Main Street is anything but a dump. They playfully promote the tagline, warm beer, lousy food, indoor pool, but their reputation tells a different story. I guess our specialty is really burgers. People come for the burgers. It all comes in fresh, never frozen. It's done by hand, and I think that appeals to people rather than a frozen, stamped out patty. Right behind the bar, five snowmobile trails intersect, making it a popular place for riders to warm up and have a bite in the wintertime. And in the fall, the dump holds the buck contest. There's 27 categories, okay? So you don't have to shoot the biggest buck to win something. We have over 500 people in the contest, and uh, I'd like to think that there's nothing like it in the state. And not that I'm aware of anyway. It's amazing how many people come in just to look at the pictures. There's no doubt Jack and his staff at the dump give Cambria a great spot to eat and socialize, but it doesn't stop there. I enjoy helping uh, the community in all different various ways, particularly in the athletic programs up at school. My name's Tim Raymond. This is my sixth year as being the district administrator for the incredible school district of Cambria Friesland. We are home of the Hilltoppers. Several years back when I had taken on the position, we were moving in, my family and I, and uh, we asked where it was a good place to get a burger. And, you know, everyone around here, they kind of look at you and say, well, there are a lot of good places to eat, but there's one in particular. If you want a great burger, well, you got to go to the dump. And sure enough, uh, we went to the dump, and we've never stopped going. Small towns in Wisconsin and the Midwest, we rely on each other and each other's grace, and uh, the dump it just provides uh, something very special for our communities. Perhaps the biggest thing the dump does for the community is the annual dump run a day-long fundraiser event held the fourth Saturday of August every year, complete with a motorcycle ride, a poker run, live auction, and an epic party to cap it all off. The event raises tens of thousands of dollars each year for local charities, as well as Alzheimer's and carbon cancer research. There's over 600 motorcycles that participate in this event, and it's a blast. And all of us ride for someone. I ride for my sister, Laura, and the money goes directly to local charities. It's amazing. The dump has earned its reputation for having some of the best food you're gonna find in Wisconsin, but I'll tell you what, the people at the dump, they take care of you. I love the food, but the people at the dump, ain't no, no one else like them. The food is amazing, the crowd is amazing, and Cambria people are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. It's a great community. If you haven't been here to check it out, you know, it's a beautiful drive out in this part of the country. Take time, make the trip. Uh, we'll, we'll be waiting for you. Follow Discover Wisconsin on Instagram to see behind the scenes photos and stories from our productions. Coming up next, we head to Columbia County's Red Bud City. 
Columbus. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. Today, we're exploring Columbia County. In the southeastern corner of Columbia County is the historic, picturesque city of Columbus. Beautiful buildings and homes with unique architecture, many listed on the National Historic Registry, can be seen throughout the city alongside its renowned redbud trees. Columbus actually boasts four historic districts. The most notable is probably the downtown historic district with an amalgamation of different building types. What interests me the most about it is the fact that I can walk the same streets that my grandfather and his father walked a lot of those same buildings are still being used in their original intent. Well, the City Hall building is still our governmental center. The library is still our public library. Both those buildings are over 100 years old. Continue your trip down memory lane with a stop at a Columbus staple, Mullins Short Stop. Before drive throughs existed, this is how people ate food in their cars. People have a lot of memories coming here when they were children and with their families. So I think the best part about Mullins is that we're just an old-fashioned, classic drive-in. Great place for family and friends to get together for a nice burger and fries and an ice cream cone on a nice summer day in Columbus. And you know what else goes with a nice summer day? A cold beer. From Mullins Shortstop, a two-minute drive across town will take you to one of Columbus's oldest institutions, Kurth Brewery. By the looks of this place, it seems to me like Kurth Brewery has been around a very long time. It's been in your family since 1859? That's correct. It was established by my great-great-grandfather. Wow. When I was a little kid, I would come here on Saturday mornings and clean the, the tavern up for my grandfather. While they stopped the brewing operation in 1949, the Kurth family keeps the corner bar open to the public two nights a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. Folks who come in here, do you know them all by name? Yes, yeah. pretty much, just like Cheers. I guess there's a certain amount of pride in being part of the community and having been for all these years. I love historic buildings, and I love, love, love that you guys have taken a lot of care and put a lot of thought into keeping the tradition alive. The beer is really good, by the way. I mean, the building's beautiful, but you've got to have good beer to bring people in, right? Uh, our prices are quite reasonable. Yeah. High quality, High but low quality, price. Very economical. The beer is very economical. Like Kurth Brewery, Columbus definitely feels like the type of place where everybody knows your name. Fun community events also add to that friendly hometown vibe. In the summertime, there's the monthly music series held at Fireman's Park. And in the winter, the Canadian Pacific holiday train pulls into town. Bundled up crowds gather at the Amtrak station to sip hot chocolate and rock out to holiday songs in the colorful glow of the train's lights. It's perfectly Wisconsin in every way. The cities, towns, and villages that make up Columbia County are all special in their own unique way. But something you'll encounter no matter where you go is a welcoming spirit that makes you feel at ease, at one with nature, and at home. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.